Hey guys, welcome back to a, another video. Um, this is going to be a brand new video that I've never made. It's a tutorial on how to make a KiwiCo crate. And if I want to be very specific, it's a wooden crane. And so if you guys that are watching get um, Tinker Crates from KiwiCo, um, they're a super cool website. I love them. I, and my aunt Kristen orders all of them for me, and they're super fun to put together, super, super simple. So, I'm going to tell you how to make a wooden crane. So, everything comes in the box besides a pencil and um the tinker crate. So, what you're going to want to do um for the first step is, you're going to want to take um these pieces... All of these pieces that I have right here, and you want to go ahead and take this to the base. Well, the first step is actually to put on the stickers. Um, you can put these on, put all the stickers on like I did, just like that. And then what you're gonna want to do is you want the um, so what you're gonna want to do once you put on the small piece, you want to take these pieces. And you are going to want to, it's a little tricky or step, but it makes it a lot cooler. So you want to put this piece on this side and make sure that it's snug, just like that. Make sure it's pushed all the way down and the stickers are there for a reason. And then you want to put it back into the slot and then there's also a slot right here that you want to put that into and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the other piece and repeat so like that and like that okay so once that is done you want to go ahead and take this piece and put it on just like this make sure this point is pointing here is there you want to push it all the way down okay so that's the base assembly so that's the base assembly. What are you gonna wanna do with your tink? What are you gonna wanna do with the box? There was tissue paper in, in the bottom. Take it out. Um, you can take it out, but you're not, you don't have to. And what you're gonna wanna do is that you're gonna wanna close the box and they used to use a pencil, but I used, my mom used a knife and carved a little, and carved a hole like that. See how, there's a hole like that. So, once you do that, uh, you want to make sure that all the extra cardboard is pointing up. This is a very, very important step. You want to make sure that all that flying cardboard everywhere wants to be pointing up. Just like that. So then what you want to do is you want to close the box. And so... On the big piece, you're probably wondering. Uh, you're probably wondering what this is for, why it sticks through. Now that is the key to actually putting this, I mean, mounting it on the box. So this piece should be sticking through. You want to put that piece through the hole, just like that. And so what you're gonna want to do is that you're gonna want to take. A thick foam sticker and put it on this piece just like that so now you're going to want to open up the box and you want to go ahead and make sure it's pushed all the way in all the way and then that this 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 is why i told you guys to push all the um extra cardboard that was sticking down up so then this can slide in now, if that's snug, it shouldn't be able to lift out. See, I'm trying to lift it out. See, I'm trying to lift it out, but it ain't coming out. So, if that happens, it works. It works. So, what you want to do after that, you want to take these two things. You're going to need these two things. I don't know what they're called. Two spools. Two spools. And, um... To these. So these are the parts that you're gonna need. You're gonna need two of these. 
two spools, four bolts. No, actually two bolts, two bolts. You know, two bolts. Yeah, two bolts. Two bolts. Two of these. Then I don't know what the total. Two two spools, two bolts, and two of these. So what you're gonna wanna do is that you're gonna need this with a second. And on so you're gonna wanna like this, but I'm gonna do it this way so then you guys can see. Um, so what you're going to want to do is, you're going to want to poke this piece right here, just like this. And then you're going to want to go ahead and put this into one of the holes. And then what you're going to want to do, is you're going to want to take a spool. You don't actually need these pieces, I forgot. You don't need those. You're going to take a spool and you're going to... And what you want to do is you need to take this side, not the round that ain't going to work. Um, this side, the side that looks like a square, but it's still round. Because, look, if I try to do a round side, it ain't going to fit. This side, it's going to break. So, and then you're going to want to line it up, up just like that. And then, uh, and then you're going to want to... Screw a bolt in. And then copy that for the, for the other holes. So, let me say that again. Take this piece, you put it through the big hole, and then you latch it in. You take the spool, make sure it's this side. You put it on. And then... And then you put the bolt in. Just like that. So that is, so that's that part done. So next, what you are going to want to do is that you are going to need these two pieces. Um, make sure you, so, and then you're gonna wanna put more stickers on, like I did, see how I did them? I put these stickers, Um, not these, but the shorter ones. And then what you're gonna wanna do is, this is, um, so, you are going to want to take another spool and put this right there. Well, actually, first what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to take this and push it through the spool. And then you're going to want to put it on this end. And then you're going to want to put the bolt in. Just like this. Well, actually, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the bolt and you're going to want to take this piece. You want to put the bolt in and then you want to put and make sure the bolt is squeezed tight. And then, you, wait, wait for your And screw the bolt in. Now, what you're going, are you going to want to do is put the spool on. Now. And then. <coughs> You are going to want to take your box, the box that you made. Um, wait, come on, sorry. Okay. So you, and now, whichever side has the stickers pointing in, so those stickers that we put on a while back, a little bit ago, um, you want to go ahead and make sure that this point, not the point with the spool, but the other point, goes there, make sure the stickers are pointing in. And then, oh, wait, we actually missed this step. So I guess, um, so there's one more step that we gotta do up here. We need to take this piece and we want to put it right here. We may need a wire now. So once you do that, um, so now that we did that, um, we want to take this piece with the spool on the side, opposite side, make sure that this is right there. And so what we are going to want to do is, it's fine if the spool falls off, we want to take a bolt and this piece. 
We want to do the same thing that we did on this side. You know, just a lot of copying for this. We want to go ahead and screw it in. And now you want to poke it through this hole. Just like this. So this should, you should be able to see this, but it shouldn't go out of it. It should say just right in the sticker. And then you wanna take um, the other piece. You wanna go, you don't wanna do anything to this piece. Do nothing besides the stickers. And you wanna point it the same way well, first, before you do that, make sure that the spool is on it. And then you want to go ahead and take this. And... You want to go ahead and secure it, just like this. And you, you want to use... Um, and you want to secure it in both spots. Yeah. If you guys can't see this, my apologies. I'm not a very good camera recorder, but it's fine. Okay. So, you're going to want to put the spool on that part, and you're going to want to line it up, and then you're going to want to put this on. And that's how I make the arm. So now what we are going to do is we want to take this piece, this piece, and you want to put it right here. This piece, and we want to put it right here. Just like I'm doing. So, one sec. The hook. So what you're gonna need is all of this stuff. You're gonna need all of this, all the stuff that I have in my hand. So you're gonna need two bolts. One of these, two um, of these wood pieces and the hook. So what? you are going to want to do is you want to take these two pieces make sure they look just like this and you're going to notice that your tinker crate comes with two strings use the short string for this wait no 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 okay never mind so what you're going to want to do is you want to take these two pieces and you want to put um, a bolt and one of these on, these on, just like this. And then you want to go ahead and put the, and then you want to do copy that on the bottom, on the very bottom. Don't do this. That's for another part of the tutorial. And make sure both of these are like this. So now that you've done that, you want to take the hook and put it on the bottom, bottom, not top. So the, so this point and not the wide, skinnier, not the wider one. Okay. So you want to take the other piece and you want to go ahead and screw the bolts in. Just like this. So once you have finished that, go ahead and put that to the side. And we're gonna come back to the crane. So now what you are going to want to use is the short string. You want the short, short string. 
And we're gonna be working over here and on the top school. Top school. This is very important. Use the short string and not the long one. This is the short string. You see, it is short. See, it's short. So you're gonna want to take the other one of these pieces that you have, and you'll go and this notch right here and a notch on the bottom and the loop. You want to put the loop in the notches like this. So I did that. And now what you're gonna want is you're gonna wanna make sure that this is, it goes above like this. And then when it's, make sure it's in that notch, you wanna put it, put this piece on the end of these. So where the, so where the spool is, that's where you wanna put it. A little tricky since the loop can get out a lot of place. But it's not so hard. <sighs> Just like that. So now what you want to do is that that top spool that we did. This spool, right here, this spool, you want to take the metal part of this, the other end, see, and you want to, and there should be a little hole, and you want to go from the inside to outside, so what that means is that you want to put the metal piece inside the spool, just like I'm doing. See how I'm doing it? See, see how I'm doing it? And you want to pull it out. And then, you want to pull the string tight. So then it should be latched on the other side. It shouldn't be able to come out. So now, all you gotta do is you gotta wind up the spool by turning the handle, this handle. Make sure you pull it all the way against. And now what should happen is, if your string doesn't get stuck, this part should start be lifting up. You want to go to about that angle if you want this to work properly. And then you lock it. Just like I did, but I'm not see when that happens. So I said about this angle about this angle for best results so the next step is is you are going to well, almost done guys i know it's exciting you want to use the long string now or the other string that you have if you use the long string for this you need to redo those steps with the short string so what you're going to want to do is you want to unscrew one of the bolts at the top. You only need to do this if you um, made the hook when I did or didn't put the string on like I did, which I bet a lot of you did. And take this down and then go ahead and put the loop on. But you can notice that both of these strings have loops and metal pieces. So once you put the loop on, you want to go ahead and screw that bolt back on just like this okay so now what you're going to want to do is you want to take the metal piece and this is a few steps you want to feed it through this you want to feed it through um this spool and feed it top 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 you want to um make sure that this the metal piece goes on the top and then pull it through. And then on the bottom spool, you want to do the inside to out, just like I did. So you want to do the inside on the spool with the metal piece to the outside of the spool. And, and then you want to pull it tight. And then, 
So I'm going to want to put that right there. Okay. And make sure that the string is in the notch. So your crane is once you. So how to use your crane? And a lot of people are going to be asking. So the top spool. Um, the only thing is, is that it could be tangled, but we can undo that. So the top spool is the one that makes the crane go up, the crane arm at least, go up and down. So you want it at about this angle for the best results. See the angle? See the angle? And the bottom one is for the hook. And so... As you will see in all the in the final result and the ads, if you've seen temp crate ads, you're gonna see a load box. It's super simple. Take the crate wood box that they give you and the pipe cleaner and go ahead and just do what I did by putting one pipe through and wrapping it around the other pipe. So that's how you make the low box and copy it on the other side. I'm not going to show you. It's so simple. So what you want to do is that if your string is overlapping like this, that happened to me. You want to go ahead and pull your string. Well, actually, you want to undo the metal piece for you if you want this to be kind of easy. But if you want to do it the hard way, do it the hard way. And then you want to undo it. Just like that. So, and then go ahead and copy those steps. Or what you could do is put the metal piece through first and then adjust the string, which is what I'm going to do for the second point since this is the hardest step. Remember, it's in to out. I made it look very, very easy the first time. I don't know how I did that. So easily. Alright. And then make sure that the smooth point, not this point. This point is facing towards the pole. Just like that. Okay. So, um, now what you're going to want to do is that you're going to want to hang this off an edge. You want that to hit the ground like mine, like mine did. And so you're not going to want the string like this. You're going to want it just like this and then... Now remember what I said for best results, about, not there, but about right here. Those are for best results. So now I bet you're probably wondering, how can I extend this even more? Great question, everyone. Now, you will notice that you have a few extra parts, not including foam stickers. You're gonna have all of this, which I bet you're probably gonna be wondering, what do I do with this? Use it to have two or three of um, the pulleys. So wait, I'm gonna show you how to make two and three pulleys. So two, uh, two and three are pretty simple. So what you're gonna, do, what you're gonna wanna do for pulley to improve your so this pulley two can result in spinning around spinning your hook around so i would either highly recommend one or three which three is pretty short okay so what you're going to want to do you're going to want to take this loop unscrew one bolt just like we did take off the loop but you're, gonna, you're not going to want to put it back on right now because you're gonna, we are going to put a bolt through that extra hole and, you, and we are going to put another one of these thingamabobs 
I don't like that cold. Okay, and then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to take and one other. Okay, sorry guys, I'm, I messed up. So sorry. Um, so instead, of, <laughs> instead of having the hook on the bottom plate, you actually want it on the top plate. So this is gonna make it a lot easier. Okay, so now you're going to want to take the extra spool that you have. Make sure that the clean uh, that plate is on the bottom. You want to take the extra spool that you have. I mean, on the on plate. You don't want to take. You don't want to take the extra spool. One extra spool you have. Put it right there. Put the piece on. Just like this, and then screw three bolts in, like so. One. Two. Two. This book you just know when it go in. Two, three. So just like this, and so this is gonna be the new and improved crank system. So now, uh, is that? So what you're gonna wanna So what you going to want to do next is this hole right here. You want to go and take this piece and go ahead and push it in from the bottom. No spool, no nothing. None of that stuff. Yet! Yet! You may only need to slide it in from the top. Yeah, do it from the top, and then you want to go ahead and put the screw in. And like that. So, so those are the first two steps. I know. I bet you're probably kind of confused since... There's actually four steps to doing this. Fourth is done. So what you're going to want to do is you want to take the loop and the hook. The loop wants to go from the bottom of the hook, just like this, on the spool. And then once that happens, you're gonna want the bottom one locked for this to be easier. Once you did that, this point, Actually, actually, what you're going to want to do is you want to put the loop on before you screw that in. Sorry, guys. Hmm. 
I'm going to put the loop on. And then you want to go and screw the bolts in. Just like that. And bam, that's how you get two spools. And now what you're going to want to do is, remember, angle is about this angle for best results. About there. And now you want to go ahead and unlock the spool and the um, long one and do it. Yeah, make sure that this is on the spool. I know, that always hap that happened to me quite a few times, actually. So that's on the spool, and then there. And bam, you have two pulleys. Now, the only problem with this is, eh, when it's short, it's fine. But if we were to drop this down, Where to unwind it? Drop it down now. It may well actually having it like this actually fixes it. Fixes it from spinning. See, no spinning. See, nothing. So if you were to do it like that. Guided or rapid, you can use two. Now, three is a little bit more complicated. You're gonna need that extra spool. Spool that you have. So, I would recommend using two if you want strong. So, you want to go ahead and tighten it up. Screw that. So guys, I can't show you. <clears throat> show you. So so. I'm just gonna tell you how to do it. I can't do it since I cannot. I don't know how am I gonna ever unscrew that? So instead of having just this normal piece here, you would have a spool right there, and then you would wrap it around just like you did. But you wouldn't hook. You would go around the spool, and then you would lock it up here like you did with one spool. So that's how you do three spools. And guys, if you have made it through this entire tutorial, can you please consider subscribing? It really helps me out a lot. We're aiming, I'm, I'm, I really want to get to 10,000 pretty soon, so I'm only at like 13 or 20, which I 